How's it going everybody? You know who it is. My name is Sun Wu, and in today's video we are gonna check out Equator 2 by Roly and make some beats with it. If you don't know who Roly is, those are the guys that make those squishy keyboards, but obviously that's not all they're doing. They are also releasing VST plugins, Equator 2 being the one we are gonna have a look at today. And Equator 2 is basically a do-it-all synth, meaning it has all types of synthesis built in, wavetable, FM, sample playback, virtual analog, so it kind of strives to be that one plug-in that can generate all your sounds. So in a nutshell, it's an Omnisphere competitor and I think a very good one that is. Let's have a quick look at what you can do inside it. This is not going to be an in-depth review or an in-depth tutorial. I just want to make some beats with it and see what sounds I can get out of it. This is your synth page. This is your routing page and this is your effects page. This is where all the magic is happening to do it in MTV Crib speech. Over here you can find your presets and there are many many presets to choose from. The cool thing is they have all have tags which is very cool if you have an idea for a sound and you don't want to scroll through a list of a million things. You probably can find some tags that somehow suit the sound that you have in your mind and then you can select it from this list. Let's just press some keys. <laughs> Some crazy sounds, obviously. We've got some normal sounds. This keyboard is not velocity sensitive and doesn't have MPE, which is something that Roly seems to be very good at because they make those very sensitive MPE controllers. They obviously incorporate that into their VST plugins too. So we're gonna have to ignore that. But anyway, I think these presets all sound very nice and also very production ready. So you don't need to do a lot to get a polished sound out of them. Yeah, anyway, there are many, many presets to choose from. So if you don't want to edit your own sounds, you certainly can find a lot of good stuff in here to get a song going, which is probably the kind of thing that I would use this synth for as I am not the pro sound designer. So I would probably just look for presets that I like and work from there. But if you wanted to edit your sounds in depth, you could do this as you can see here you could have six different oscillators of all types of synthesis. So in this one, there's a granular um, oscillator, there's a sampler oscillator, another sampler, but you could add wavetable and noise and all kinds of goodies into it. And here's something I like for people who don't want to design their own sounds, but want to just edit those presets a little bit. There are macros already assigned, so. If you wanted to get into modulation, you can do all of this here. So velocity, pitch and such, you can do all kinds of modulation and you've got a mod matrix here. So if you want to go in depth, that is certainly all possible. Uh, you've got routing, so you've got two different filters here and you can route them in different ways as well. Yeah, as I said, this is basically one synth that packs everything there is in one tight interface. And I think, um, yeah, even if you don't need all of that stuff, it's still a great synth and there are great presets to be found. So how about we just go ahead and make a beat with it? Okay, we're gonna start by making chords with the breathy hybrid keys preset. Let's stretch these out. And this is what it sounds like. So 
So the plugin even has a few drums in it. Um, if I click here, we can see what kind of drums are available. Although I must say, the drums I don't think are the strong point of this plugin. It's more the synth sounds, but anyway, it's nice to have. And for this beat, we're gonna use all sounds from Equator 2. Let's do some hi-hats. Let's do it the easy way. I edit the velocities to make it a bit more dynamic. And this is what it sounds like. And now a snare drum. And now a kick drum. Alright, I think now it's time for a bass line or actually some background pad sound. And for that we're gonna use the granulated solitary choir preset. Sounds good enough for now and now the bass line. And you guessed it, the bass line is also gonna be very simple. using the analog round bass preset, which I think sounds very nice. All right, let's see if we can find some additional plugs or something. Yep, let's use these ones here. Now we need a melody. Good enough, um, let's just play around with it and jam a little bit and then make the next one. That's it for beat number one, let's make another one. And we're gonna use only two chords. Stretch them out. This is our hi-hat. Put it here and all over the place. Again, I'm gonna edit a few velocities like this. Let's put one more here and there very low in velocity and also alter when they are playing and I think this should sound all right. Now we need a snare drum.
and a kick drum. And for the bass we are using the tight grid plug bass preset. And that's it. And here we got this preset, which is called Dark VCO Lead. And I just realized that there's preset info on the side right here, which is quite cool that describes the preset and what you can do using Aftertouch and the mod wheel, which I think is quite a nice touch. So let's use this one on top, nice and spooky. <laughs> Maybe one more element, although it's actually already enough, but nevertheless, let's try it out. Let's make this one really simple and just use this arpeggiated note. Put it here and that's it. <laughs> And again, let's jam with it. And that's already it for my quick beat making using Equator 2. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful time. Peace.